Vaccinology 101. When designing a new vaccine, the first step is to identify the target. Based on research carried out in 2004 on SARS, we have a good idea of what that target should be. For coronaviruses, we know that the viral spike protein on the outside of the virus is the part of the virus that binds to and infects human cells. So an effective vaccine would need to block that from happening. The vaccine would aim to make the immune system produce antibodies in the blood and in the mucosal surfaces such as the mouth and the lungs and these antibodies would bind to the virus and block entry to the cells. The sequence of the SARS-2 COVID-19 spike protein was published by Chinese scientists in early January and then we knew exactly what we needed to do to make a vaccine. I've gotten a lot of questions and comments like this one saying that it seems rushed and this is a valid concern. It does generally take five to 10 years to develop a vaccine. Today, I'm gonna to give you three reasons why it may seem like the vaccine is rushed, but it's not. No matter what vaccine it is, it has to pass the same regulatory checkpoints to make sure it's both safe and immunogenic. It doesn't matter what amount of time it's being developed for, it has to pass these checkpoints. Two, vaccine platforms like RNA or protein or viral vectors are platforms, which means they can easily be made for a new indication, which is exactly what we did in January. But all of these platforms have been in development for years already. Three, it's been a group effort. Usually people are working on lots of different types of vaccines, but everybody's right now just focused on COVID. So it's been much faster.